Hey howdy hey partners, today we have some Toy Story 2 vintage toys. Let's get into it. You're watching Today I Grew Up. Hey partners, back again. I'm excited. I got some vintage Toy Story 2 toys. This actually came from a friend of mine, a friend of a friend actually, who had this in their house. So they asked me, hey, do you want this? Do you have these? And I said, no, I don't actually have those. Those are really cool. So I got these for free from a friend. So I'm very grateful. These are very vintage toys. They come from the year 2000, produced by Mattel. Originally piggybacking off of Toy Story 2 release in 1999, these toys came out to market. Of course, we got so many Toy Story toys out there. I actually missed these. I had no idea these were even ever made. So we're going to take a look at the Western Friend set, and then we'll look at Jesse the Cowgirl second. So here's the Western Friends bendable gift set. They're bendy figures, which is really cool. I didn't even know they made these. And it's awesome that there's some critters that I recognize here from Woody's Roundup show. I remember that little turtle. I don't know. I think I remember the snake as well, but it's cool to have little critters Bullseye Jesse and Woody and it has the Toy Story 2 logos here on the side and then on the back it has another bendy figure set you can get which has a bendy buzz and zerg and aliens I wish I could find this maybe I can get this someday to complete the set but these are really cool looking figures and down here this is the set that we got so here we have the Toy Story 2 Western Friends bendy gift set looks really cool as I was taking these out I was actually really surprised with the details that they put into this now, as we know, Woody's Roundup, there was these little critters that were on the show. Um, it's hollowed out down here. I don't know why. Maybe it's like a, you can use it like a finger puppet. Like, what's up, guys? Howdy, partners. Not really sure, <laughs> but that's interesting. And it's got the turtle shell. Very simple, but at least they painted the eyes, so I do appreciate that. I don't know why it has a giant hole down there, like I said, but it's a really cool little critter, and I really like this. The next critter we have is a snake, all coiled up. He also has the same kind of system down here. I'm not sure if it's meant to be kind of like a finger puppet. That's what I'm thinking it is because it fits on my finger. So that's probably what it's for. If you guys know what else it's for, let me know. But this is really cool. Nice detail. It's just all purple with painted eyes. It even has a little mouth there with fangs. So that's a really cool little snake critter. The last critter we got in the playset was this kind of like bird looking thing it says Disney Pixar China on the back this one doesn't have any placements to put your finger or anything so that's interesting but yeah this is pretty cool it's a little blue bird and I don't think I remember this particular critter but it's a really cool one and I, I still will probably display it with my Woody's Roundup section that I have on my shelf next we have Woody he comes with this cool removable hat I think it's nice that they give us that option that you can have Woody either wearing his hat like this or you can have it removed and he still has a head sculpt which is good. The face sculpt, I mean it doesn't exactly look like Woody, he looks more like a cartoon version of Woody. You got the air holes there which is funny. He has the illusion of a pull string ring which is cool, at least they painted the best detail. He has these boots, he has these little baby spurs, very small, and not much detail on the boots but he does have some and he actually has some detail on the belt buckle so at least they tried to do something there and that looks cool. And there's a badge. So those details are better than nothing. I still think it looks pretty good. And then he has these bendy uh, wires in his arms. So he's able to bend his arms and his legs. So he has very bendable legs. So he can kick back and forth. Kind of like claymation or something. Like he's made out of clay, which is pretty nice. And his arms do bend up and down. So you can have them to his sides as well. You can't twist his head or anything. It's fixed. But you can definitely play with the legs and you can play with the arms bending up and down. So that does work. No Andy on the bottom of the boot, it's just boots. But it's a pretty cool bendy figure for Woody. Jesse also has the same concept for the head sculpt. You can remove the hat or you can also just keep it on her head. Either way, however you want to put it on her head, it'll fit. Does It actually stays on pretty well. They actually painted the band up here, which I appreciate on their hat. Jesse's head sculpt looks a little weird, I'll admit that, but at least the hair strands look like yarn. It should have been painted a brighter red because it looks a little too brown, but it's still pretty cool. They got some details on the shirt, okay. Belt buckle and the chaps are painted as well. Little boots, and looks pretty good from the back as well. 
little pull string hiding back there behind the ponytail. Same thing with Woody. Jessie can also put her arms up. She can also bend her legs back or forward. Because of the bendy wire, they can stay. So that's actually a pretty fun articulation. She can do the splits, make a cheerleader pose, or ride bullseyes. So you can bend the legs so that she fits on bullseye, just like Woody can. Last one we got in the set was bullseye. Bullseye is looking really good. He does have a removable saddle, which I noticed with a little peg. So you can take off his saddle. I don't know why they decided to have a removable saddle for bullseye, but I guess that is convenient if you need to take it off for whatever reason. At least you have that option, which is nice. He does have some head articulation, which the other bendy figures don't have. And he can move his head side to side like that, which is pretty nice. That's something that Jesse and Woody don't have. The rest of his body feels solid plastic. His tail's a little flexible, but it's not bendy. This doesn't move at all. Um, and the only thing that is bendy is his legs. So that's actually pretty fun that at least his legs are bendy. And you can get great bendable action. So it looks like he's riding into the sunset by posing his legs with those wires. That is actually a really cool detail to be able to play with the bendable legs for a bullseye. I think it looks like bullseye. I think the head sculpt looks best on this one. It really does look like bullseye to me. And it's fun to have that cartoon feel where he's like, you know, running into the sunset. This bullseye looks really nice and the bendy feature is great for posing. I also appreciate the cactus detail on the saddle. I think that looks really nice. Really nice, extra nice detail. Well, that was a closer look at the Western Friends Bendy set from Toy Story 2. I really like them. They're really fun and they're great additions for the collection. Now, what's interesting about this Jessie is something I've never seen before. She has a new look, a different outfit, almost like a Barbie version of what Jessie would be if she was a Barbie. She's got a whole different look, it says on the packaging. And here is a Disney Pixar Toy Story 2 logo with Jessie on the bottom with a background Western theme. She actually has the belt buckle detail as a graphic on her overalls, which is pretty nice. Here on the side, it's just kind of like a rocket ship, which is pretty cool, like a space theme. Here on the back is Disney Pixar Toy Story 2. It says, best friends forever, Jessie and you. She knows that you love her and she loves you too. Here's Jessie in her overalls, very vintage looking. Well, I mean, this is 21 years old now, which is crazy. Jessie's looking so pretty in her denim overalls with cute little red knee patches. She has a yellow shirt with red cuffs and collar that match her pretty red hat. Jessie's got a whole different look and it's all for you. Colors and decorations may vary from these shown. Doll cannot stand alone. Oh, well thanks, Mattel. Why can't it stand alone? Yet yeah, it's standing in sand. How unrealistic. Oh well. This is still very interesting by Mattel. I don't know why they did this. But it's pretty cool and unique and definitely different. I've never seen this before. What do you think of this Jesse? This vintage Jesse? Do you have one of these? Have you ever seen one? Is this in your collection? Do you think this is really rare and collectible? I have never seen it before. I'm sure a lot of people have it in their collections, but I, I definitely do not. I'm not going to open this doll because it is very rare. It is 21 years old and it's never been opened. I feel really bad opening it. The bendy figures I can reseal up, but this one, it looks like it's really strapped in well. So I want to keep and preserve the vintageness of this box as well. Even though there is a little damage on it, but not much, I am not going to open this Jesse. But it was still fun to take a close look at it. And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think of this, Jessie? I don't think it looks like her per se, but it looks like a Barbie version of her, which is still pretty cool and unique. Well, partners, I hope you enjoyed taking a trip down memory lane to look at these toys that are now 21 years old as they came out in the year 2000. Are these part of your collection? Do you plan on collecting these? These are still fun. This was random for me to get these, but I'm just really grateful for them. As always, partners, thank you so much for watching, for liking, and commenting on these videos. I'm on my way to 100,000 subs this year, so to get your support, all I need you to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're alerted for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you, partners, on the next video review. You want the real Buzz Lightyear? You're, a, uh, you're an action figure! You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child! Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.